Snowmobile Safety Week. Uh, what's the goal of that? Uh, well, International Snowmobile Safety Week runs every year. It's actually run uh, North America wide. Um, we celebrate it here in Ontario with our partners at the OPP. And uh, yeah, it's a reminder to all snowmobilers to, to have a safe ride out on the trails so they can return home. And this year, uh, our, our message is around checking the interactive trail guide. Just as, as things are ramping up, uh, trails are becoming available. We want to caution all riders to make sure they're checking trail availability and status. Uh, online at all times. And even though we ha just have this massive dumping of snow, not all the trails are open, correct? Um, th correct. Snow does not equate to trail availability, um, but certainly we've seen a surge in the trails that are available. Uh, we're just sitting right now at 5,260 kilometers of available trails. And so on the interactive trail guide, any trails that are shown as yellow or green are limited availability or, or available. And anything red, uh, snowmobilers are advised to stay off red trails. Snowmobiling here in central and northern Ontario, it, it's not just a sport, it's a culture. What would you say are, are, are the things that make snowmobiling so popular? Well, I mean, just, uh, the OFSC and its clubs have been around for, for almost 60 years now, and it's, so it's really a part of our history. Our organization is rich in history, and then the really big piece of it is the community within communities. Our clubs are a great place for new snowmobilers uh, to get involved. Um, a lot of our volunteers have been around for many, many, many years and seen the evolution of snowmobiling, and it's fun. And it allows people to get out at a time where not everyone loves the winter, but there's no better way to, to enjoy the winter than by trail on snowmobile. And you get to see parts of Ontario that you can't see in the other seasons. So it, it really truly is the full package. And then volunteering as well comes with, with more friendships that are formed and being part of this great white carpet uh, that is rolled out each winter. Absolutely. I went for my first time last year and uh, what I got to see is really amazing. It's a, Ontario is a beautiful place and it's a beautiful way to see it is by sled. It is and it's beautiful in the winter and one thing I'll say about snowmobilers, they truly own the winter every year. Um, they don't let the winter own them <laughs> and even this past weekend when it was very, very cold, our, our volunteers were out working on the trails to ensure that uh, they could make the most of the weather and have them available for riders. Snowmobilers are dedicated. They've been bombing past my house <laughs> all weekend. Doesn't matter how cold it is. No, no. Like I said, they own the winter and uh, we certainly need that deep cold uh, to freeze up water and, uh, you know, uh, swamps and such on the trails. So yeah, uh, snowmobilers are volunteers collectively as an organization. Winter has nothing on us. Yeah, and you just mentioned the water. Now, with any sport, there is an element of danger. So what should riders be aware of as they're out there to be safe? There's a ton of resources on our website uh, in terms of safe riding. We really, obviously, um, impaired is impaired, so abstain from alcohol, drugs while you're out on the trails. Uh, be mindful of the speed and really ride within your ability using care and control at all times recognizing that this occurs in a wilderness environment not engineered roadways anything can happen the unexpected weather can change uh, so riders need to be prepared and again it starts with making sure the trails you're about to venture on have been deemed as limited availability yellow or available green and what about ice that seems to be a big cause for concern you have the OPP saying no ice is safe ice. Well, and, and, and we have state trails, and, and we urge snowmobilers to stay within the state trail, the mark trail, whether it's on ice or on land at all times. Um, and, and certainly, you know, riders must use that caution. So so right now, we, we had a bit of a slow start to the winter. Uh, things are freezing up nicely, but uh, again, that interactive trail guide will show snowmobilers where they can and cannot go. Perfect. And where do you, uh, folks go to get more information? Well, our website is ofsc.on.ca. And to access the interactive trail guide, you can either go from our website or you can also download the Go Snowmobiling Ontario app in either the Apple or Google Play stores as well.